Hi, I'm Dr. Lingaraj and I'm an orthopaedic surgeon practicing at Glen Eagles Hospital as part of a group practice called Orthopaedic and Hand Surgery Partners. If one's symptoms are not adequately addressed by simple measures, surgery may be required. When there are small and limited areas of cartilage damage, minimally invasive arthroscopic or keyhole surgery may be carried out to repair the damage by stimulating the formation of new cartilage. However, when there is more severe or extensive damage, more invasive surgery may be required. For example, in patients who are under the age of 50, an osteotomy or knee reshaping procedure may be done to improve the alignment and position of the knee. In patients who are above the age of 50, a knee replacement procedure may be required. This involves trimming away the worn-out cartilage and replacing it with prosthetic parts which are made up of metal and plastic. Surgery for knee osteoarthritis is usually carried out under general anesthesia and usually takes about one to two hours to perform. Most patients are able to start walking on the same day of the surgery and can be discharged from the hospital either on the same day or a few days later. Now, we sometimes advise patients to use a walking aid for walking for two to six weeks after the procedure to help the knee recover. It is also important for the patient to undergo rehabilitation after the procedure. And this usually consists of range of motion exercises, muscle strengthening exercises, and functional rehabilitation. This whole process is generally supervised by a physiotherapist. In summary, you should not allow osteoarthritis to bring you to your knees. There are many effective treatment options available that can help you get back to an active lifestyle. Do not hesitate to seek help.